she only wants you when you stop caring. Notice that? Results come when you stop caring. That is when these women start to notice you. When you stop feeding them so much attention and instead you start focusing on yourself. You start doing your own thing. She is no longer such a priority in your life. She is no longer the focus in your life. Okay, that is when she begins to start paying more attention to you. When she feels that she is losing you. When she feels she's losing your attention. When she's losing control over you. Okay, that is when these women start to notice you and start to value you, right? She starts to see more value in you. To think to herself like, maybe I judge this guy a little too harshly. Maybe he's not such a chump. Maybe he's actually a champ. Maybe he's actually a winner. Maybe he's not as beta as I thought he was, right? Because all those times you were texting her 24 seven, blowing up her phone, leaving her dozens of voicemails per day, trying to get her out, liking all her photos on social media, dropping comments on every single upload, every single selfie that she posts of herself, no matter how ridiculous, all of a sudden, that's gone and she feels like she's losing you. That is when she begins to notice you. You might notice that she reaches out to you a little more often. She returns your messages a little more often. She might like a few of your photos and that she never did before. You know, she'll start doing things that she never did before. She feels that you're not caring about her anymore like you used to, right? And that's the biggest thing for a girl is she hates losing a guy's validation, especially a guy's validation that she once had, that she obviously took for granted. Because a lot of these girls, they take your validation for, for granted. And once you start withdrawing it from them, that is when they start to value it, right? It's like if you're giving somebody a free ride, so you're paying their rent every month, and then slowly you stop paying their rent. Right? And then they have to start paying their rent on their own. Then they start to value it. Whereas before they didn't give two shits. They're like, ah, Chump's gonna pay my rent. Chump's gonna pay my rent. And all of a sudden you stop doing that. That's when they start to value it. It's like, hey, I'm sorry. Was I doing something wrong? Was I not being nice enough to you? You know, and she starts to value you, right? So uh, a lot of these girls too, as they get older, they will start to value you more. Uh, when they start to lose their power over you, just because they're losing their SMV, their sexual marketplace value, right? That's when they'll start to value you more. She'll start to have like a, in, an instinctual fear of becoming an old maid, living alone with cats, right? And then she'll start to value you more. She'll start to fear the fact that, you know, she can't get another guy like you, she can't replace you, or, you know, she's just running out of options. So the thing that you have to understand is, first off, you should never ever allow these chicks to treat you as if your name is Stanley, right? No offense is your, if your name's Stanley, right? You should never allow these chicks to treat you with low value, as if you don't matter, as if you're some chump, some beta simp that's gonna be there forever, just, validating her over and over okay she needs to value you too and the ways that she values you is by you unvalidating her by by you withdrawing from her just a little bit right by you withdrawing from her emotionally mentally and focusing on something else hopefully yourself right never put women above yourself always put yourself first guys never put women above you because when you put yourself first and they can see that you value yourself more than you value them, that's when the respect will come. That's when they will respect you. And that's when, surprise, surprise, they'll start investing in you. They'll start caring about you. They'll start seeing you as a person and not an object. Because a lot of these chicks, they see you guys as an object, not a person. And as long as she sees you as an object and not a person, she's gonna continue to use you extract value from you 
not ever appreciate you, okay? So she needs to see you as a person and she needs to stop seeing you as an object, right? You'll notice every girl that you, that you meet, like, in the very beginning, tends to see you as an object. She just sees you as another guy who's trying to get in her pants. And it's not until she begins to invest in you emotionally, mentally, and she begins to fall for you that she starts to see you as a person. You know, and she can't have sex with you and she can't have romantic feelings for you until she sees you as a person. This is why I say it's very, very important that you get the girl to start investing in you. So she stops seeing you as an object and she starts seeing you as a person. But understand guys, well for a lot of these girls, they only want you when you stop caring, okay? They only value you. They only see value in you when you stop caring about them. Okay, so stop giving these girls so much of your free attention. Stop giving these girls so much of your free approval and validation. Start valuing yourself first and by default, they will value you too, right? So with that said, I'm gonna wrap up here, guys. Until next time, this is Amp from the 33 Secrets, signing out from the Las Vegas Strip as we stroll along here. Okay, don't forget to destroy that like button below. Make sure you destroy it, guys. Destroy it for me. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe, okay? Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm, and it also will notify you anytime I release a fresh upload here to my channel before YouTube takes it down. You'll be able to catch it, watch it, especially uh, lately, because they've been taking down a lot of my best videos. They don't like this stuff, right? They don't like me teaching you guys this stuff. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel as well. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I'm teaching you guys even further, the best way to do it is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world are approaching and closing every single week in every single part of the world, guys. And I kid you not, in every single part of the world. I have students all over the world, globally now, and they're using what they've learned from me in seven months of mastery to bring attractive, high-value women into their own lives to date, hang out with, casually date, jump into LTRs with. Some of these guys have even married some of these girls. They've even had families already. It's insane. It's insane how far you guys have taken a lot of my coaching lessons. So if you want to support my work, that is the absolute best way to do it is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program seven months to mastery and right now the first month is only a buck it's only one dollar for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me so please take advantage of it and all you need to do is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it just takes two seconds so do that now and i will see you in my next coaching video